so this is the list of all the Premier League strikers we've got. Now, I will apologise because I don't know half of these. <laughs> Let's see if it'll come up. Goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders, forwards. Yeah, that looks like Joe Willick to me. But on this, it's classed him as a midfielder. So I wonder if that's why. Unless that's tech.
Premier League that B grade. Absolutely banging him in, in the Championship. He's come up to Chelsea and he's pretty much what we've needed. We've needed an out and out striker, someone that can hold the ball up, play well, get in behind the defence and just be absolutely clinical. And he's proving that. He's, he's exceptional. And I'm very, very happy to have him at the club. Roberto Firmino, A grade. I don't even think we need all these tiers, to be fair. I don't think I'm going to be putting anyone in F. We definitely might do. Um, for me, for me, no, yeah, for me, he's, he's so vital for that system, isn't he? For that club sort of system. Playing with that centre forward that doesn't play as, as much of a striker, but more of a more of a like pivotal point around where his, his wingers and strikers can pivot around and really get involved. But without him in the team, there isn't any winning. So he's vital and he's perfect. A Ricky for me. I go with the C. Now he's good. Don't get me wrong. He, had, he, he well, he scored some very vital goals in the Champions League for them last season. Similarly to like Gabriel Jesus, he hasn't really been given all that time to shine just because there's someone in front of him that is exceptional. Um, I know Klopp likes Origi. I like Origi, there's nothing nothing wrong with him, but he just hasn't been given the game time, nor has he had the experience to really gain up to this B position. Um, Ryan Brewster, I'm going to put D grade for now. I don't rate him. There was all this hype around him maybe a year or two ago, and we didn't really see much from him after that. The fact that there was so much hype around this guy and this guy still ends up playing in front of him really says something, but he has got years ahead of him. He can do well. Harry Kane, B grade. Now a lot of you will be out there going, oh, for fuck's sake, if you're not seeing his stats, he's a goal scorer, he does I don't care. I don't rate him. Even after all this time, I don't rate him. He might be proven to have scored loads of goals, but as a striker, um, I don't. As a goal scorer, yes, exceptional. Doesn't really hold up the ball well. Doesn't really play for his team very well. As soon as his head drops, that's it, he's gone. He it just winds me up because somehow he gets on the score sheet and he doesn't even play well. And it pisses me off. Maybe that is a testament to how good he is, but it just really frustrates me when everyone says that he's one of the best and he, he's quite clearly not. He's just in the right place at the right time. He's got Ericsson feeding him through. Young Min Son feeding him through. And he's just a bit selfish in some cases. And moving on to Lukaku. D grade. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lukaku. We used to be, I'd put him at us, probably about a B or a C. But Mourinho put too much bulk on him. Made him into a striker. We all knew he wasn't. And since that, it's just completely dropped off and just become such a trash striker. Not clinical at all. Not got a good first touch, which is the two things you need as a striker. You need to have a good first touch to set you up and you need to be clinical. He's neither. This is... Oh, what's his face? I'm not too sure, so I'm going to leave it for now. Kevin Wilson. Is that Kevin Wilson? Yes, because that's King. It's Kevin Wilson. What's his face? He used to be at Liverpool. Kevin Wilson, I'll give him a C grade similar to these. I might just get rid of this. F grade, delete row. Um, yeah, so Kevin Wilson, C grade, again, one of those where he does perform, he plays well, quite consistent, but hasn't really got the attributes to be a top top tier player. In fact, I'm going to put him in a B grade just because he's very consistent. Same with Josh King. Both of them perform quite well for Bournemouth, considering they're with Bournemouth. Maybe if they move to a slightly bigger team, you know, the likes of Leicester or Everton, maybe they'd really prove themselves a little bit more. And, you know, boom, boom. In fact, King could go down there, because I don't think his record's that brilliant compared to Wilson's. Is that Jordan Ibe? Oh, is that his name? I don't want to get it mixed up. This is really showing my knowledge, isn't it, right now? Eh, well, we'll move on. We have Glenn Murray here. C grade again. It's one of those where he's good. He's a cool hero for Brighton, but he doesn't really score that many when you think about it. And eh. I mean, I suppose it's okay. This is why I'm using this. Why am I not using this? Premier League starts. Let's go to Bournemouth. They've only got Josh King and Josh King and Callum Wilson. So let's go to Brighton. Brighton. 
in your mouth, babe, isn't it? Oh, I'm getting so exposed right now. I put both in C grade. But yeah, so both of these, like, they're very, they're very similar. They play for a, a mid to low table club. They score some goals. I suppose it's not the end of the world, but they're not exceptional. Moving on. We have, oh, I'm not even going to bother with these yet. Benteke, D grade, I'm sorry. But he played at the top level, didn't score. He's played at an okay level, hasn't scored. Now he's playing at a mediocre level at Crystal Palace. I suppose Crystal Palace has been doing very well. And he's still getting outshined by all the players. So it's just a bit shit, really. I might not even put all of these off because I don't recognise a lot of them. So it would be unfortunate. Is that, wait, is that, Le is that Llorente? It is. He's going in the D grade. He's an absolute trash bag. That's meant to put him off. Um, I suppose all three of them could go there just because... You know, they both play for a lower league, or a lower table team, that's what I'm going for. So, for me, he's putting in B grade. Um, similar to Kevin Wilson. Uh, started off very well for Crystal Palace again this season. He's a good player, been on quite a lot of people's radars, and not much more to say about that. We have... Is that meant to be Moise Keane? I think it is. C grade. Very, very good player at uh, Juventus. Was well, Juventus, wasn't it? Yeah. Come to the Premier League. Done for all. Let's see if we can go to Everton now. So, yeah, Moise Keane, he's made eight appearances. How many goals has he scored? Two out of eight. I've 
Solanke. Wow, yes, now I realise that Dominic Solanke can go and get put in the C grade. Similar to King. Um, whatever it is, it's just, it's not the best. They're not particularly performing all, all that well, so you can't really say more than that, can you? Um, moving on, Jesus, we've got some players to go through. Shane. Definitely Shane Long, that's definitely Danny Higgs. Who's this? That's Opa Femi. He can get put in the D category because he hasn't done anything in far as I'm aware. Uh, these two, okay, very good strikers. Um, have done a job for Southampton over the years and they're a testament to their own club, to be fair. Um, Hola, again, C grade. Come from the Bundesliga yet to make that much of an impact, but hopefully can do well. Hernandez is a definitely striker for me got tossed around a bit throughout his career and a bit annoyed by that I am but very good at Man United when he wants to be you know he's come to the Premier League with uh, West Ham and a few other teams and it's done okay um, I'm struggling guys good god so let's go to Burnley to figure out which of the TV trip by the looks of it, you can get put in the C grade because he did well at Derby and then it's dropped off since. Jay Rodriguez gets in the bin. Uh, I don't think I need to say much about 
is, is similar to Abraham. I'm going to put him in the same category because smashed it in the championship, starting to prove himself in the Premier League. I think that a big name club is going to be picking him up in January or somewhere at the very latest. Um, which then brings me on to Norwich. Who else have they got? So Norwich forwards. Oh, this could be anyone. Is that Dermage? And that's Srebeni. They haven't been performing that well anyway, so I'm going to put them in the D category because they're, they're way behind Team Obuki. Um, Watford. Good God, I think I'm struggling now, guys. I do apologise if this is a bit, a bit annoying for you. No one appearances. No, I don't even want this. What am I doing? I just want Watford. It's easier, I can see the players a bit better now. Midfield, 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 forward. So, where's De La Faye? It's not even listed on that, okay. Troy Deeney, obviously. I've got to give him the due. I'm putting put him in the C grade. He's contempt as a striker. He's, he's okay. Not good, not bad. But, you know, good on a day, bad on a day, you know what I mean? You've got eyes. Andre Gray. You know what? Andre Gray deserves to be there. Troy Dean is very good on his day. Not so good on his off days, but still deserve it. He's similar to the likes of these two, the Shane Long and the Danny Ings. Um, I'm struggling to figure out who these are meant to be. The Premier League doesn't have any of these. They don't even look similar. Is that meant to be Isaac's success? Oh, they've got a different kit. This is last year's kit. So they've probably got old photos of them, to be fair. Uh, okay, so that's, that's possibly Isaac's success. And that could be Gerard Dillon. Sorry, no, that's probably, yeah, it's probably served with a D just because he isn't getting there. Well, he is getting the game time, he's just not scoring. <laughs> this guy, who are you? Billy Sharp, isn't it? It's gotta be. Looks like him. D category, four appearances, one goal. These could be absolutely anyone, by the way, can I just point this out? There's no goals. They haven't really started off that well in terms of scoring goals. I think I think their defenders have scored more goals. Or not. 
raging at this uh, is Wolves da, 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 da. let's go like that let's go like that please let's scroll down we have Rao Jimenez here uh, I've got to give him the B category he's been performing for the last couple of seasons he's already got two goals this season and two assists so you can't particularly take anything away from that this is Jota, is it not? Looks like him. Six appearances, one goal. I'm going to do it again. Just because he's been performing very, very well at uh, Wolves over the past couple of seasons. You know, not at the best of starts this season, but then again, Wolves haven't had the best of starts. Um, but, you know, they've got Europa League, so that's something to contend with again. Uh, so this is how it looks in the end. Let's see if we can fit this all in. Um, let me know what you think. I've probably made plenty of errors, especially when it comes to a few of these. I think this is where the biggest errors have occurred. I've chucked a load of people up. Let's move these up here just because in fact. Because I think oh, I recognise them. I just I can't get them up on here, which is the most annoying thing. But hey ho, I apologise if I have offended anyone. It's not 